you know, mm-hmm. come out of high school. You will watch, A lot of people thought he was going to fail because he didn't go through the college. He didn't go through the system, you know. Mm-hmm. And and they were waiting for him to mess up, you know. Mm-hmm. And he, and because, he, you know, he, he, was, he was brought up by a single mother, if I'm right. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and, you know, they want to see him. You know, unfortunately, people want to see it, it's the envy thing. You know what I mean? The snake pit syndrome. Yeah. It's like we're all good as long as we're in, we're all snakes. Then all the snakes in this pit, and but one snake try to get out of that pit, they yeah. all want to jump on that snake and just drag <laughs> it back down. You know what I mean? It's like I know exactly misery, you, misery loves and company. company. Yeah, yeah, misery loves company. But you know what, Sonny? I have a, I agree with you one hundred percent. But I have a different take on it also. A lot of people can't fathom the fact that someone could possibly be better than Michael Jordan. Mm. Yeah. And the, and because this man has never been out and looked at like Michael Jordan was, who did a lot of demonic things behind the scenes. Sure. LeBron James has never been in trouble as a kid or a man. Yeah, that's absolutely. You have never seen this guy coming out some bar at three o'clock in the morning. Yep. You have never seen him on the golf course gambling with known criminals. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. You have never seen this man fornicating with different women with his wife and kids at the house. Yeah. You yeah, ain't never no. seen this man not even come out and say something about my shoes of which people of color in my community were killing each other, killing each other over and never said a word. Yeah. Never said a fucking word. Well, I'm going to no. tell you something, Sonny. I got a problem with that. No, it, to it, this it, day, it, to this day, seriously, let me say this. When that was going on, you know what I promised myself? I'll never buy another Nike product mm. because of that. Because I give a damn about my people. Yeah. I know a lot of people don't. And, you know, the African-American bourgeoisie. Yeah. That gets to a certain level and they forget about where they came from. I'm not that guy. I've never been that guy. And I never will be that guy. That is why I'm in my communities on a weekly basis doing whatever I can do to influence young people. So certain things I I will always admire because of a certain greatness, but it's a certain thing I never will forget. Never will. Well, you you, you have a problem with that. And a lot of serious business. Hold on a second. A lot of white people don't understand that because as long as they cool with you or they want you to be cool with them, they understand that. That's why Mm -hmm. they don't say bad things about what I'm talking about right now. They just overlook it when you cool with them. But yeah. see, I don't care about that. If you cool with me, you cool with me. If you not cool with me, you not cool with me. If you cool with my thoughts or what I, the way I look at things, fine. If you're not, that's fine too because I'm on a mission. And my mission is to make this world a better place for everybody. If it was good for me, I'm going to make sure it's good for somebody else. You know, if he, this is basically how how generally the people are, I commend you for your position, and 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 you're probably rare ten percent of the population. People aren't happy with themselves, so they don't like to see other people's success, and and you know they look for faults. You know what I mean, and and. Unfortunately, mm-hmm. if you won a hundred million dollar lotto, I'll be happy for you. I'll be elated for you. If I won a hundred million dollar lotto, I'm not gonna even let you know. <laughs> Brother, I'll know. You won't know? No, I'll know. No, you won't know. Oh yeah, because we I won't, won't be tell doing, you. Because I'd be going like, what happened to Stevie? I'm gonna tell you what happened. He moved to the Cayman <laughs> Islands. <laughs> Cayman? No, and- I'd be I'd be going to the other side of the planet. I'd be I'd be like in 
you know. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, they can still get me over there. I moved yeah. to Afghanistan. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that dude flying in? Everybody else is leaving. 